Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall discuss making predictions and comparison of two samples. We choose a sample from the population when we want to know something or to draw some conclusion or to predict something So we choose a sample from the population when we want to know something or to draw some conclusion or to predict something and then we survey the sample and draw the required result As we have already discussed, for valid results, the sample should be chosen very carefully. And now we shall learn how to make predictions. Now let us take an example to understand predictions. There are 1170 students in a school. You ask 65 randomly chosen students what their hobby is. And we get to know that 27 students like reading, 30 like traveling and 8 like stamp collecting. Predict the number n of students in the school who like traveling. Is the prediction appropriate? Give reason. First we find the fraction of the students who have the hobby of traveling. And we get this fraction by dividing the number of students who have the hobby of traveling by total number of students in the sample. And we know that 30 students like traveling and there are 65 students in the sample. So we get this fraction as 30 by 65 which is equal to 6 upon 13. Now to find n, we multiply this fraction by the total number of students in the school which is given by 1170 and we get 6 multiplied by 90 which is equal to 540 so we can say 540 students have the hobby of traveling Now we need to check whether the prediction is appropriate or not. As we have already studied, for this, the three conditions of reasonable sample must be satisfied. And the conditions are, sample should be selected at random, it should be representative of the population, and it should be large enough to provide accurate data. And here in this example, the sample is chosen randomly. It is also a representative of the population and 
it is large enough to provide accurate data so we can say the prediction is appropriate now whatever conclusion we draw from sample about the population are valid only if the sample is representative of that population a person should consider all the aspects of the population and then choose a sample preferences should not be given while making a sample For this, let us consider another example. In a school, students are divided in four houses. Each house having a captain. The principal wants to know which the most famous captain in the school is. He surveys 50 students and draws his conclusion. Now, in this sample, the teacher should take into consideration. that each house student has their representatives in the sample only then the sample will give valid conclusion so here the teacher should take into consideration that each house student has their representatives in the sample only then the sample will have valid conclusion now we can learn comparison of two samples and in this we can compare the two samples to know which sample is good for making predictions so we again take an example Which sample is better for making a prediction? Predict the number of defective bulbs manufactured per day in a factory. Sample A, a random sample of 400 bulbs from 15 machines. Sample B, a random sample of 400 bulbs from one machine. And now we shall see out of both these samples. Which sample is a better representative? Now consider sample A. Here, the sample is random. Also, it represents the population. as it says a random sample of 400 bulbs so we can say that the sample is random and it also represents the population it considers the product produced by 15 machines which is an appropriate thing because bulbs are being produced by different machines also the size of the sample is large enough so all the three conditions are satisfied now in sample b there is a random sample of 400 bulbs from one machine so here we have seen 
only one machine is chosen and sample is chosen from only that machine that the birds are being produced by several machines so we can say it is not an appropriate sample it does not represent the population thus we can say that sample a is a better sample to make predictions This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.